What's going on guys, it's your average consumer and today we are in Micro Center, AKA Tech Heaven. And I got my baby over here, you guys. The first PC that I've ever built on my own. The name was supposed to be Typhoon, but it's only been called Leak because there are quite a few things wrong with it. Uh, a lot of things that I never went back and got fixed up. But I told you guys, in the future, I'd be getting this thing right where I want it to be. And in order to do that, I of course came over to Micro Center Tech Heaven to get all the repairs that I needed here because they actually offer computer building services and repair services. So if you've got any issues with your PC, you can bring it over to Micro Center and they'll be able to help you out. So that's what we're doing with my baby. We're gonna be trusting them, you guys. It's probably in better hands than mine, so it's fine. <laughs> all right, you guys, I'm, I'm excited. Leak is finally gonna turn into Typhoon. I don't know what's with these computer names and whatnot, but it feels necessary. So we got our guy, Kevin, over here. He's gonna be the one taking care of us. What's up, Kevin? What's up? So this is my baby. Okay. You guys gotta take care of it, right? Take good care of it. So for those of you who don't know, I've had a couple of issues with my PC. Uh, my hard drive in here, for some reason, isn't being detected. My RGB lights don't sync up the way they should. I've got a buttload of cable management issues in the back over here. There's also issues with the case where the buttons up top don't work. So there's, there's stuff to fix to make this thing the way I want it to. And Kevin's gonna help us out. We're trying to open up Disk Manager right now and just nothing's loading. Hopefully, hopefully Kevin can figure it out. Oh, there it goes. So it's definitely something with the hard drive, then. Listen, it's the first PC I ever built, you guys. Don't judge me, okay? I did it solo. <laughs> so we looked into the disk manager. We saw some issues there. But now Kevin's going to run the actual diagnostic to make sure he figures out everything that's wrong with the computer. And this is the best way they'll be able to track what's going on and provide the best service. And even though I explained my issues with the PC, Micro Center always runs computer diagnostics for testing and troubleshooting so it's very possible that they might find some issues with your PC that you weren't even aware of. Uh, so the bad news is that your drive is failing, but the good news is it wasn't anything that you did. So wait, it, it was always like- If it like... never worked, then it was deal work. <sighs> Dang you, Amazon. <laughs> See, I should have bought my drive from Micro Center. <laughs> All right, that makes me feel good though. That was never, <laughs> I probably looked it up just fine, you guys. Cool, so I guess we'll wait for the diagnostic to finish and we might as well just browse while we're here a little bit, guys, right? Tech heaven. Tech heaven, you know? And you guys already know Micro Center has the fire deals and they want to offer a coupon. So if you want to get your hands on a free 32 gigabyte flash drive or a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, check out the links in the description. And of course, you guys know we had to go ahead and make a video just like the old days where we ran around all of Micro Center and checked out all of the tech. If you guys are interested in checking out that video, I'll of course have it linked down below in the description. But of course, the shopping had to come to an end. All right, so we did a little roaming around Micro Center, if you can tell, uh, but we just got a text from Kevin. Our PC's diagnostics are complete. Let's go uh, meet up with him and see what's going on. All right, we got our guy Kevin over here. He's gonna let us know what's up. All right, my man, what's the word? All right, so everything passed the test. Okay. That's the good news. Bad news is I was looking into it. It's only seeing 96 gigs of RAM. It's just our RAM. Okay, so maybe that might be why one of them, like just like a couple that usually just goes haywire. Yes, and then I also looked into the lighting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a known issue with disco RAM and this motherboard. They don't speak well together. And then the last issue with the- Another one. Up here, uh, yeah. It's the case itself. <laughs> no. See, I need, a, I need a new case, guys. I, I was saying it before. I just, I gotta just transform this thing. So thanks to all of the tests, Kevin was able to find all of the issues with the PC, had a few more than I expected, but luckily we were able to swap a few things out. And since we were at Micro Center, they had all of the pieces that we needed on hand to get the job done. So with my baby finally fixed, the next thing to do was to finally get the upgrade I had planned. So a lot of those issues that I had when I initially built the PC were due to faulty parts. So that's, that's not on me. You know, I did, I did what I had to do. But now that those are taken care of, there are a few upgrades that I wanna make to the PC to really let it shine. And we're gonna get to those in a little bit. Some of the parts aren't here yet. You know, graphics cards are not easy to come by right now, especially the 30 series. That's one of the upgrades. But we're gonna come back 
Typhoon is going to be fully upgraded because that is something they do over here at Micro Center. They can make these PCs. So we'll come back to that. All right, guys. So it's a couple weeks later. Got Typhoon in hand. And we're going to head into Micro Center and make the final upgrade. So let's do this. Hey, what's going on, my man? Ah, our boy Kevin's over here. Ready to take care of us again. You here to do the, right, the final piece? Yes, sir. Let's do it. So I left the PC with Kevin for a little bit, and he, of course, made the upgrades that I did not want to do myself. And finally, Typhoon is complete. All right, guys, it is finally done. Kevin did his thing. So now the computer has been upgraded with more RGB. Nah, I'm just joking, you guys. So basically what we did here, guys, we took out the two NVIDIA 1080s that I had, the 1080 Ti's, super, super dated. But what we've got now is the EVGA FTW 3090 graphics card. And this EVGA has the EVGA ICX3 cooling and can be used to measure different components on the card, including the VRAM, as well as memory. It also has ARGB lighting, which is built into the header for controlling external devices or the fans. And you can also get your hands on the EVGA Precision X1 software, so you can go ahead and overclock as well as control all the different aspects of this graphics card. So we've got a lot of power here. We should be all good to go. This thing is definitely deserving of its new name. Kevin, my man, thank you. You killed it. Listen, Kevin was awesome. He did so many tests, looked at all these different little things that I had issues with. So it was a really, really good experience, a thorough experience, which is what you need. And I, I think we're all set. We're all good to go. Finally, maybe get that streaming going that we've been talking about, you guys, you know? And if you don't happen to be a PC enthusiast, but you still want to get your hands on a pretty solid PC, whether it's for gaming or any other use, you can always use Micro Center's custom PC builder, which makes it really easy to put together a PC and pick all the parts you need without having to do a ton of research on what parts you need to actually make it. And what's pretty cool about this portion of the site is that you can put all of the pieces that you picked for this PC, you can add them to the cart, and pretty much pick it up the same day at Micro Center. And if you don't wanna go through the process of building it yourself, you can have the folks over at Micro Center do it for you. Of course, that's gonna cost an additional fee, but it's gonna be nice not having to worry about taking all those parts and putting them together if you're not really into this. You can let someone else who knows how to do it, do it for you, and that is a win. So if you guys are interested in checking out the custom PC builder, I'll of course have it linked down below in the description as well. And honestly, I'm glad services like this exist because folks like me, yeah, I built the PC the first time around, but I'm not like a hardcore, PC guy who's gonna go inside of his system all the time to make upgrades and fixes. So having some service like this is like super beneficial to the average consumer out there who isn't like a PC enthusiast. But if you're interested in learning more about all the services that Micro Center offers, whether it's the custom PC building, bringing your PC in for service, or even having them work on a PC for you if you use the PC custom PC builder, there are tons of options. I'll have them all linked down below in the description. Huge shout out again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video and making my baby worth bringing home. That's on the next video, guys. It's your average consumer. Peace. All right. I'm pumped.